the um, ACE E3 all unboxed now. I've got it all set up. Um, I've really been enjoying it. But you might want to upgrade it. Now you do take these upgrades at your own risk. And there's a couple that you can perform to give you some really good added performance to make this la little laptop really quick and powerful. And the two that I recommend would be an SSD and a RAM upgrade. So this is a standard video. Um, so this will be in front of both of them. So we'll get to which one it is in a minute. Again, another shot of me straight over. Now you do take these upgrades at your own risk. So please be aware of that. And I'm showing these strictly for reference. And these will be the same pretty much for the entire E3 range whether it's the 111 or the 12 so let me take you through which upgrade we are going to be doing today so the first upgrade um, video that I'm doing is a RAM upgrade. Now the laptop itself uses DDR3 RAM um, and it comes with 4 gig installed and it needs to be DDR3L which is low voltage. Um, it only has one RAM slot so you can uh, get it up to 8 gigabyte in total which will give you that just added bit of performance bump um, if you're using loads of programs at once. So let me take you into the laptop and show you how we get this upgrade done. So before you can do any upgrade on the laptop you're going to have to get into it um, and to be fair out of a lot of smaller sort of like laptops and netbooks, this one is actually very easy to get into it. A few things you're going to need is just a little technician and screwdriver set. I just need a little posi for this job here. Um, and then you need to remove all the screws out, which I have. Nice little tip as well. See that? That's duct tape they're all stuck to. I actually have duct tape for this video. The last one was just show. Really terrible tape. But yeah, it's good to stick all your screws to. So you just, I've already removed them anyway just to make the video a bit quicker. But you have five at the back. Four in the middle, so you've kind of got two here and two there, and another four at the front. They're all the same length as well, so you're not going to get confused here. Um, and then that's it, basically. Once you've removed all those screws, which I've done, you're ready to remove it off the back. Now, normally I use a bit of plastic or a bank card or something to get down the sides, but this one is actually quite easy. You just want to start at the back here and around the ports, and you can just almost, as soon as that's off, you can get your fingers in. That's bit hard for me to show the camera as you can see here I can just do that from my fingers Now this has come off a little bit easier um, because I've already had it off anyway so just go it slowly but just round the ports here so you don't stab anything round the back once you've got that put it back down and then it just lifts up so before you do any upgrades now I'm going to show you something as you can see it's got an internal battery and you are going to want to remove this before you do it so I'm just going to get reset up and show you how to remove the battery Okay, so here you can see the battery and you can see the port that it's into. Now what you're going to need to do is you've got to give this a long press here and this just turns the battery off. Let's give it just a five second press or something like that. There we go. So you want to do that before you do any upgrade. And there we are. So now we're ready to continue on with the upgrade. Okay, to perform a RAM upgrade, it's a little bit more trickier. It was easy to get into the laptop, but it's a bit more tricky than the other ones. And we need to remove the main board. Um, so you really do take this at your own risk. It's not that difficult. Um, I am going to skip a few little steps, um, like removing the screws and stuff, just to make the video quicker. But the first thing you want to do is slide the hard drive out of the way and remove that. And make sure the battery is removed, as we showed you earlier. Then we have some screws to take out. So there's one here. Then we've got another two here, so that's three screws. Another one here by the hard drive, four. We have another one down here by the battery, which is five. And that is looking like everything we need to screw out. The rest here is holding by pins, so that is five screws in total you have to take out. So we'll go ahead and get all those removed quick. So um, I've removed all the screws, Now I did say it's five. There was a sixth one up here, um, and there's four. Um, at one length and two at a smaller, they're on the tape next to me and the two smaller ones are here and here just for reference in case you forget. So next what we need to do is start um, disconnecting all the tabs so we can get the board out. So we're going to start here and just sort of work across. So first is the keyboard. We can just pull these two little tabs here and there we go, there's that one out. We've already removed the battery. Um, so next I think this is the trackpad here, yeah this is the trackpad. Just flick that up and remove that tab. And here we have the speakers. And just go really soft with these because some of them are a bit stiff. That speaker one is very stiff. Yeah. Just going to try and get in here a little bit. Yeah, the speaker one is very stiff, so just take your time a bit. I find that quite hard to get out. And there we go, that slid out. So just very careful with everything. You want to be nice and soft. So that's the speaker one. And next we have the monitor. Now to get the monitor out, there's a bit of tape here. 
the monitor the screen so you just need to flip that up untape that okay and now we are ready to remove the board actually you just want to make sure before you do that disconnect the Wi-Fi got something and here you go here is the main board with the fanless des design and you can just pop the RAM chip out and then just refollow the steps to get it working now the only thing I will say to you is make sure you put this in properly because if you don't put the stick in properly you're gonna get a black screen on your laptop and you're gonna have to take it all over again anyway I hope this video is um, been really useful to anyone that's wanted to upgrade the RAM. Um, you can upgrade it to DDR4, um, DDR4, DDR3, um, 8GB, and that is the L RAM. You need to make sure you get low voltage or it's not going to work.